Wakurugenzi <laughs> tulikuwa tunajiambia yenyewe tunaishi in a very weird world next to very weird individuals. Until TikTok came about, then we discovered that people are not only weird, most of us are clinically insane. Mwaka ni 2020, location Mexico. A 20-year-old lady by the name Arlene Martinez ametafuta vile kukua otero kwa TikTok by all means. One time, akafanya kitu sidhani kuna mtu ashawa ifanya TikTok before. Arlene ali fake a kidnapping. Ali fake amekuwa held captive aka record a little bit of the situation and she uploaded it on TikTok. Let me tell you the followers, the engagement, the likes and everything she wanted. Zili kuja hapo in biblical proportions. Ah, uh, for Arlene aka discover now nishagundua. Kama hivi ndio tutapata hawa TikTok followers, then so be it. So what does Arlene do? Anaamua kupeleka hii kitu a notch higher. So anaenda ana fake another kidnapping but this time anaambia actors wake wakiweza pata a real gun wa kuje nayo which one of them does anakuja hapo na 45 caliber pistol na wana fake mambo yao vizuri in the middle of the kidnapping eh, Arlene analeta a fake confrontation kwa hiyo confrontation wanaanza kubishana bishana hapo na mjamaa katika ile harakati bahati mbaya this 45 caliber pistol goes off it goes off and shoots Arlene Martinez straight in the head kikula headshot ya 45 caliber mtu yangu hakuna vile unabaki and just like that eh, on live TikTok Arlene lost her life leaving behind a one year old all in the name of TikTok Nisao Twende kazi guys Kurugenzi <laughs> Momen ayaya kama kawa kama dawa dawa if you see him Kurugenzi in the building you just know he's got the juice man season finale a headline hitters in season 6 dolly season 6 imeisha <laughs> first of all my ap- apologies najua mse hatujakuwa na headline hitters uh, hitters for quite a while in nini baridi nafanya na teleza teleza ulimi ama eh hey, maze but uh, poleni nilisikia kilio uh, now we are back uh, na kama mlifikiria at after this season finale tunaenda break hakuna uh, another season inakuja next week tunakimbiza hiki kitu sana juu nimekamkona hey hii headline hitters ni favorite ya watu wengi yeah so relax guys all is well tunaendelea na mtr tunawapeleka na ratiba vile inafaa sawa sawa dao hapo sawa Now this is a story that you guys have requested for the longest nikasema ah leo acha nifunge tu season nayo eh, so mtapata ni story mnajua ni sababu ilikuwa ni ni, ni news heavy eh, so wale mnajua mjifanye tu mjawahi kuisikia eh, tuende you know get, get with the program tuendelee tu vile inafaa sawa sawa nice wangwana leo nataka niwapeleke moja kwa moja mpaka Hawaii which is uh, one of the states ya uh, US pale Hawaii 
eh, wacha nianze na kusema ni mnamo Aprili tare 28 mwaka wa 1988 on this beautiful sunny day in Hawaii eh, kuna ndege ya Aloha Airlines flight number 243 ambaye ilikuwa na scheduled flight kutoka mahali panaitwa um, eh acha nikuambie panaitwa namna gani hizi majina za Hawaii zinachanganya saa zingine Hilo mahali panaitwa Hilo all the way to Honolulu it's a very short flight hizi ni zile short hauls so wanazifanyaga nyingi sana ni kama kutoka hapa kwenda hata Mombasa i think ni mbali yeah, it's, a, it's only a 35 minute flight So wanazifanya in fact uh, as we speak sasa this Aloha uh, airline inajipanga kuingia its ninth trip of the day <laughs> wanaisukuma deadly uh, but ni flight wame you know the flight inapigagwa daily wameizoea wanaijua like the back of their hands so hakuna pressure hakuna bug that the weather is mwah, fine pale kwenye left seat captain seat tuko na captain bob pale a uh, veteran deadly yako na tajriba ya kutosha years of experience alafu on the right seat pale first officer ni mrembo anaitwa first officer eh, tomkins madeline tomkins pia yeye yako sawa amepiga miaka tisa pale na aloha airlines eh, bado hajapandishwa cheo kukuwa captain lakini in terms of experience ako sawa pale nyuma kuna flight attendants watatu head of them ni, a, ni uh, a senior flight attendant anaitwa Clarabel um, Lansing Clarabel Lansing akona umri wa miaka 58 so ule ni ni gwiji amepiga akona experience deadly karibu 30 years ya kusukuma kazi ya flight attendant pale ni nini, nini na akona wasaidizi wangapi wawili so about the aircraft kuna two pilots na three flight attendants na 90 passengers it's a Boeing 737 imesukuma kazi kweli kweli eh siezi sema ni ndege mpya imepiga piga for some time but in terms of the cruise experience wako sawa ah ni watu wanatambua kila kitu sana ya hii ndege vile inafaa now eh, imefika wakati wa waku, kufanya majambos eh, washa tayarisha ndege ready for boarding eh, watu wale passengers washaitwa pale teke teke wamekuja wame, wamepanda ndege saa sawa wanangoja kupiga this short trip from Hilo to Honolulu 35 minutes ni kitu watakuwa washapiga washafika bus kila mtu aende shughuli zake so as our passengers were on board one of the passengers akiwa pale kwa ile e, ramp ya kupanda ana discover eh hey, hapa kando kidogo ya mlango kuna panels mbili za za hiyo fuselage waga zinashikanishwa na rivets pale lakini akiangalia vizuri anaona ni kama kuna separation kidogo between hizi panels mbili ni kama kuna ka crack somewhere hapo so anaiangalia kidogo masekunde but anajiambia ah, you know what <laughs> ndege imeshinda tu kwa hewa so ingekuwa kitu serious wangekuwa washai fix but ukiona iko hivi na uh, kuna pressure ah ni sawa tu wacha mimi niingie ni ni shughulike na vitu zangu mimi ni pige safari bus so mrembo anaingia anaenda anatafuta kiti anakaa Mremo mwingine pia anaingia pale eh, ya yeah, oni hiyo crack anapita anaenda anakaa kwa viti za mbele eh, somewhere eh, between the first five rows anakaa hapo but after some time anajiambia ah ama wacha niende nitafute kiti mahali pengine pale nyuma sijui kama hapa mbele inanibamba sana so yeye yeah, anaamka anapiga ma step kadhaa huko nyuma anaenda mpaka huko row number 17 anatafuta kiti pale anakaa So before long passengers wote washaingia kila mtu washachukua seat zake saa sawa wametulia flight attendants wanafanya mambo yao pale ya kuonyeshana mambo ya safety operations na nini nini of course CB Lansing ndio wako pale as the head flight attendant e, na kila mtu akatulia ako sawa e, pilots wakapatiwa take off clearance pale kwa faster wakapiga taxi mpaka kwa runway and before long pew, they were air now Nimeambia safari is only 35 minutes simple from Hilo to Honolulu ni karibu So kwa safari kama hiyo na wanasukuma ndege aina ya Boeing 737 hii ndege kwanza huaga ina cruise at an altitude of 24000 feet 
So it takes the aircraft roughly 20 minutes kufika cruising altitude ambayo ni 24000 feet. So in 20 minutes wakifika cruising altitude inamaanisha wataka hapo sana. <laughs> Wata cruise kidogo then wanze descent eh, into what Honolulu sababu huko ndio wanaelekea. So kila kitu iko sawa watu wametulia ndege isha take off wanafanya nini wana climb lakini sababu eh, safari yetu ni fupi hatuwezi kaa tungoje ndege ifike cruising altitude ndio flight attendants waamke kusukuma tule tutroli tuao na majuisi na manini otherwise hawata maliza kuna 90 passengers on board na unaona ile cruising time ni kidogo sana before waanze kuanguka chini tena so as the plane is uh, ascending akina lancing na the other two flight attendants washamka washaende matroli nini nini kuna moja na attack kutoka huko nyuma lancing na mrembo fulani wako hapa mbele so hawa na serve pole pole eh, seat belt sign i think imesha tolewa but uh, i know bado iko on but hawa ju lazima wapige hii kazi hawa wako on their feet wanafanya mambo yao So the plane in a take off pole pole watu wana serve juice hapa pole pole hakuna yeah, pressure like i said the weather ilikuwa mm, mufti safi sana immediately the pilots walifika cruising altitude 24000 feet hiyo ni kama mita 700 no 1700 7300 meters huko kwa hewa wakafanya nini waka level off sasa ni ku cruise mdogo mdogo wakifika top of descent sasa waanze kufanya nini waanze kushuka into Honolulu wakiwa tu wana settle in hapo kwa cruising altitude the captains wakiwa kwa cockpit wanasikia a loud bang bah! all of a sudden rapid decompression mnakumbuka wakati tulisoma mambo ya uh, uh, pressurization eh si tulisema ndege ukienda altitude fulani air pressure huko inakuwa iko uh, chini sana so ku breathe inakuwa ni problem so what happens ni uh, the cabin ya ndege huaga inakuwa pressurized ndio mkitoka muende huko juu bado mnaweza breathe normally otherwise the air pressure up there is so low inabidi uyu <laughs> uchukue breath nyingi ndio iko equivalent to one breath ukiwa kwa ground ehe so rapid decompression ime happen inamaanisha ile air ilikuwa pressure pale kwa kama ime sikuwa sucked out yote kuna yani vurugu ndani ya cockpit zile vitu zote hazikuwa fast and up zime toka ma luggage zimefunguka huko juu in fact one of the luggages iliruka ikatandika flight attendant moja pap ikamweka chini unconscious chaos uko nyuma passengers wanashindwa guy ni nini ime happen hapa watu wanaanza kushindwa kupumua already wako 24000 feet uko mazee the pressure iko so low bana i support breathing normally haya ndege imeundwa design fulani wakati eh, rapid decompression ime happen hiyo design inafaa i release ma mask fulani zinatokaga hapa juu pop hizo mask zinakupatia 15 minutes of you know oxygen breathable air in those 15 minutes Pilots wanafaa kuwa wametoka hiyo uh, altitude wako wameishukisha tu at least under 8000 feet because any, anywhere under 8000 feet the human body inaweza inaweza ku breathe normally pale wadao i bang na rapid decompression ambayo ime happen hapo inagundulika very quickly ya kwamba a section of the roof ya E737 imeenda aiko Basically watu wako hapa kwa ndege but wako kwa convertible. Eh hakuna roof guys imeenda. It's like an insect iko na head hapo, thorax nusu na abdomen. Hakuna hapa katikati, hakuna nothing. Ni mahali tu wamekalia viti na kuna ma, ma beams zimeshikilia hapa chini. Hizo hiyo ndio the only support structure in ndege iko nayo. Anything hapa from the wall all the way to the roof non existent. It's gone. Wacha watu waingize panic. Yaani vitu zimerushwa all over the place mpaka watu wakiuku nyuma kwa cabin hawaoni flight deck huko mbele. Like I'm warning kwa cockpit ni nini inaendelea. Flight attendants wanajaribu kupiga zile masimu zao zinaingiaga hadi kwa cockpit kuuliza oya magadhe huko mbele kuna mtu ama hii ndege tuko peke yetu. Hakuna response communication cut. 
Flight attendant tule huko nyuma anaanza kuongelesha passengers wakiwa uliza wa down ni nani anajua kusukuma ndege nani anaweza hata kama uko na experience tu kidogo please kuna mtu anajua kuendesha ndege juu yeye tayari alikuwa shawa na vile kumeenda huko hatuna uh, roof huko mbele ah for sure cockpit iko ama kama iko mapilot walishatolewa huko wako ama kitu imewahapenia wako incapacitated So mazee anazunguka huko nyuma akiuliza watu watu hakuna mtu mwenye anajua kusukuma hii kitu. Sasa ni kwenda na imani. Na kwambia watu wame panic kwa hiyo cabin deadly. Already wako juu ya Pacific, hii kitu ikijaribu kuingia kwa maji that's it. Unajua kuna kitu imewashikilia hapo si ati mta float. Hii ikiingia kwa Pacific hata muiekelee vizuri aje inajaa tu maji immediately. So man ni noma watu wamepiga nduru huko nyuma ni nini nini? But all of a sudden wakaanza kusikia eh, ndege inapiga piga ma move fulani nini nini so at least wakajijazia ah haiwezi kwa inapiga piga hizo ma move kama watu wako huko mbele wako incapacitated so inamaanisha pilot you pilot yuko but msisahau bado wako in danger sababu gani bado wako 24000 feet hakuna hewa huko zile ma masks zinafaa zi deploy ziwasaidie ku breathe for the next 15 minutes zimekataa ku deploy sababu gani kwa hii harakati ya roof kuhepa mechanisms za ku deploy mask ziliharibiwa hapo. So sasa lazima captains wafanye liwe liwalo. Wahakikishe wametoa hiyo ndege 24000 feet wameileta to under 8000 feet ndio watu waweze ku breathe normally. Guys, hiyo inamaanisha kuweka hii ndege kwa into a dive na tushuke sana tuende deadly. As at now, watu huko juu wanapigwa na 300 miles per hour winds na ni baridi. 24000 feet mazee temperatures ziko below zero huko. So kuna baridi e, ile upepo inawapiga ni ngori number 3 au ni watu wako Hawaii. Wanatoka Hilo waende Honolulu mahali si unajua hayo Hawaii weather it's sunny nini. So watu huko wako juu ya zile ma Hawaii shirts zao, ma t-shirt like hawajaji ba vizuri kama mtu amejipanga kwenda kupambana na baridi. So mazee huko baridi inawatandika proper. Lakini captains kuna ujanja ingine lazima watoe hiyo ndege 24000 feet wailete to under 8000 feet. Otherwise wale watu huko juu watakuwa na insufficient oxygen watandikwe na kitu inaitwa hypoxia. Wakati mwili yako ipati oxygen ya kutosha unapigwa na hypoxia inaanza kukumix kwanza. E, unaanza kupoteza poteza fahamu kidogo kidogo unazima kidogo kidogo tunakimbiza mwili. So captains wakaamua lazima tutafute namna turudishe hii simini ni yetu chini. Of course after hiyo yote ime happen captains lazima wapige ripoti wapi air traffic control. Waambie ni aje meide meide tuko kwa ngori hapa lazima tuangushe hii nini to the where closest airport. So wana contact ATC wanapata communication kidogo bana ni shift. Kwa hiyo process ya roof kutoka nini ni kama e, mashini ziliumiumia kidogo hapo mawaya waya kidogo kidogo lakini Mungu anasaidia sababu afta kujaribu jaribu for some time e, captain alijaribu na pande yake ikaingia. Wakapata ATC huko wakaongelesha wakawaambia ni aje jo mayday mayday e, tuna experience rapid decompression hapa e, we are missing part of the fuselage ni noma so tuna descent to we are descending to uh, at least 8000 feet or under eh hey, maze now we need to put this plane down as soon as possible kusema tutaenda tufike destination ambayo ni honolulu hiyo itakuwa ni uongo tuna need kuiwekelea maze the, the, the nearest we can now kutoka hilo kwenda Honol, eh, honolulu inaitwa honolulu eh hey. hapa katikati kuna ka island kanaitwa Maui. Maui kuna airport iko hapo. So, hawa watu wakaona the best way ni kuwekelea hii kitu kwa hii airport iko hapa katikati. Eh, ju this is the closest. Atuwezi atuwezi finya mpaka Honolulu. Eh, so waka piga ATC wakaambia ni aje. Hapo Maui kuna airport I think inaitwa Kilahui ama inaitwa nini. Naweza wekelea hiyo ndege hapo tafadhali. Aye tisi wakaambia kama ni blanda vile unasema ya ya itabidi tu uiekele hapo teke teke. Sawa. Haina mambo wacha tujipange tuingie wapi? Tuingie Maui teke teke. Aya. <laughs> As wanajipanga panga kuingia Maui wana discover wa 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 wa. Hii airport ya Maui mali iko. Maze lazima wapite kuna mountain, kuna mountain big hapo. So since mwezi pita mountain through pap, lazima wamanuve wazunguke mountain 
watokee the other side of the mountain ndio wa line up na runway waiwekele chini as it is hii ndege imeshikiliwa tu by a thread <laughs> ukianza kuiwekelea ma oh forces forces tension tension hiyo ndege inaenda kuvunjika mara mbili kwa kwa hewa na hivyo ndio mmepoteza ndege mzima na kila mtu mwenye yuko on board so mwanze pilot na mrembo wake hapo first officer wanauliza na mnaonaje hiki tu tunaweza maneuver tu, tuzunguke hii mountain twende tuiwekelee chini wakapiga hesabu zao wakaona afadhali hivyo kuliko kunganga kwenda all the way to Honolulu atuko sure kama hii structure hii air, aircraft vile iko sasa hii itashikilia for, for, for much long so kama airport ya karibu ndio hii wacha tungangane tujaribu vile tutafanya nini tutaingia hiyo maeneo ah sawa sawa so aka agree tunaiwekelea chini mawi si wakaanza sasa kunini uzuri sasa this time washangangana wameshuka wamefika ile level fiti mali sasa there is breathable air eh, so sasa ngori ya hypoxia hiyo imeisha kuna mse ako at risk kwenda but msisahau kwa hiyo rakati ya vitu kulipuka huku roof kupotea kuna watu waligongwa na mizigo nini so kuna ma injuries pale So waka radio pale kwa hiyo airport wakambia majamani aje tunakaa hapa e, na ni noma tuko na emergency hapa deadly so tuna need all the emergency services ma ambulance ma watu wa fire nini nini juu tunakuja na ndege atuiamini sana very high chances tunaweza crash land kwa hiyo airport na since tank zetu bado ziko na mafuta e, tunaweza jipata bana tuko tuko ablaze So airport kwa ground wamejipanga deadly wameambia watu wetu wa Aloha Airlines msijali you just come through mtapata tumeshapanga mambo sawa sawa so of course hawa karile na watu hao wa emergency services ma fire, brig- fire trucks ambulance nini ma karao kila mtu aka standby kuna Aloha Airlines flight number 243 na come through eh, part of its fuselage haiko imeenda na hiyo kitu ina hang tuba ya thread like <laughs> imeshikiliwa tu na Mungu na maombi hakuna kitu kingine so tukae rada very high chances hapa tutakuwa na emergency ngori sana so kila mtu amejipanga pilot amepatiwa go ahead ameambiwa ni aje kuja angusha hii kitu hapa tunakungojea so wakapiga hiyo checklist yao ya descent kila kitu iko sawa nini nini so as wana approach eh, 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 nini eh, inaitwaje um, eh, as wana, wana, wana approach sasa wakafanya nini wakashukisha zile zinaitwa landing gears eh, so landing gear ni zile magurudumu za ndege so the way it is once hiyo ume, level umeshukisha chini ta tatu zina fazi wake three lights mbili za hizi the landing gears ya left na ya right alafu moja hapa juu ya nini ya the nose gear so wameshukisha hiyo level chini vizuri Two of the lights zime come on. Inamaanisha hizi landing gear za nyuma zime deploy zo, zime toka zote vizuri kabisa. Lakini the nose gear hiyo taa yake haijawaka. Na the only reason hii taa ya nose gear haijawaka inamaanisha ni kwamba ile nose gear haijafanya nini? Haijatoka. Hiyo ni blanda ingine. Juu inamaanisha sasa wakilandi ndege na magurudumu, alafu pale mbele hakuna gurudumu, iende waiekelee na mapua hivyo kuisha hiyo ndege si ime, imeishia hapo sababu imeshikiliwa tu na ka frame kadogo tu hapa chini ndio imebaki imeshikilia hiyo ndege sasa hiyo frame ukiekelea hiyo pressure ya kuland bila taa ya ah ndivyo that's it hapo mnahesabu so akaulizana mazee hapa itakuwaaje mtu wangu tuwekele hiki tu bila 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 nose so akaangalia akashindwa sasa tutafanya nini kama nose gear haija deploy haija deploy tufanye aje hakuna ujanja ingine itabidi tu maombi mbele tuwekele hiki tu kwa ranwe vile iko so wakapiga tena simu pale kwa airport ai hii round hata communication haiendi through wanashindwa ni hatu ah, si tumekotoka kuongea nao moments ago mbona tena communication inakata wakasumbuana wakasumbuana hapo na communication wakasumbuana but eventually ika go through eh wakaambia majamaa pale kwa airport wadao ngori nini hai ya 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 Mazee tuna approach uh, descent pale lakini eh ile nose gear haijatoka. Tuko na landing gear zetu mbili za nyuma lakini nose gear non existent. Hey, hey, hey. so itakuwaaje mta proceed na hiyo nini itabidi? Jua kuna design nyingine. Ah sawa. Nyinyi kujeni iwekeleeni vile mtaiwekelea. Tusha show kila mtu mwenye anani kukuwa hapo, kila mtu ako standby. Nyinyi ndio tunangoja. So bas ikakuwa sasa ni Mungu niponye. Eh tuwekelee ndege chini vile iko. 
Before waiyekele watu wa ATC waliwauliza swali moja. Mnaonaje? Ndio to confirm kabisa kabisa hii nosgia yenu haijatoka. Is it possible for you guys to do a fly past hapa kando yetu tuiangalie. Unajua hivyo ndio wasaudu wakati uko na ngori ya landing gear uwaga unapiga fly past hapo karibu na, na, na control tower wasee wacheki wakiona mguu zako kabisa landing gear jatoka wanakuambia hey gadheni huko ile landing gear yako haijatoka so wakauliza ni aje just to be sure eh juu inaweza kuwa pengine ni mashine na kuenjoy just to be sure ni possible mpige hiyo fly past alafu muende msacle back mrudi mlanda hiyo fly past tu ndio tuambie kama ukweli landing gear yenu ija nose gear yenu imetoka ama haijatoka wakasema but wacha nikwambie tukijaribu fly past tutapiga lakini hiyo manuva ya kusacle back ndio turudi sasa tushike short final tu land kitu hiyo blanda hii ndege haiwezi ni noma mi hata sijui tumefloat aje until say it's been 10 minutes tangu hii decompression happen ni miracle bado hii ndege haija disintegrate so mazee hiyo mambo ya kupiga fly past hapo hiyo hiyo hii haiwezi Ayo, wacha sisi tu landi ndege tukijiambia hatuna nose gear. Eh, hey, wacha tuiwekele pole pole tukijua hatuna hiyo kitu. Bas, liwe liwalo. ATC wakawaambia ni sawa, come through, eh, tuko standby tunawangojea. Mara hiyo hiyo majamaa pale kwa control tower wametoka na mabinoculars. Wanatafuta hii ndege ikiwa airborne, hii ndege iko wapi? Wanataka tu kuona kama iki approach as it, it's coming wanaweza zoom in hapo kwa tumbo waone kama ukweli hiyo nose gear haijatoka so before long wakaanza kuiona kwa horizon iki kam inakuja deadly eh hey, but hata vile inakam wanajiambia hii ndege it's coming in so hot <laughs> yeah your speed your speed si mchezo but maze wakaipiga mabinocular sapo teke 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 wakaangalia waka discover ah wait kuna kitu kamebembea hapa mbele waka radio uko kwa nini tena kwa aircraft wakaambia captains ai hey, wadau i suspect hiyo nini yenu ndio iko na problem ju sisi from hapa tunaona ni kama uko na landing gear zote tatu down eh so uko sawa welcome kuja vile unakuja unfortunately mazao save wakiwa pale juba na kuna design wamekuja hiyo speed eh hey, ni hatari like hiyo landing gear inaweza kuwa iko nje ndio lakini haijal unajua ukitoa nose gear hivi lazima i lock pap iki lock ndio itao waga ina, inawaka so inaweza kuwa iko nje ndio lakini haija lock na ile speed hawa watu wanakuja nayo ni noma ni noma juu lazima akukua na ujanja ngine lazima tu akuje na hiyo speed teke teke waiwekele chini kwa runway so wakaripoti wakamwambia eh okay sawa kama landing gear nose gear imetoka hiyo ni fiti lakini tuna suspect haija lock na vile tunakuja mazee tumekuja noma sana so we wacha tuone tu vile itakuwa kaende kaende sawa so majamaa wakakuja 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 e, kulikuwa na options ya kutoa vitu fulani hapo zinaitwa flaps lakini i guess mechanism ya kunini hizo flaps ni kama pia iko ina function fit so hawakusumbuana uh, nayo sana so walikuja tu na hiyo speed yao vile uzuri ya flaps ni waga hata kauna speed yako ikiwa chini na flaps ziko ziko nje unaweza unaweza bado float float e, inasaidiaga ku reduce speed wakati una approach so mazao amekuja bila flaps e, kitu mazao imekuja ni, ni, ni moto deadly it's it, yai hapa ni noma wakakuja mazao wakaingia eh, 500 eh, feet to touchdown 400 300 200 inaendaga boeing inaendaga ikikuhesabia 50 40 30 20 10 <laughs> wakaiwekelea kwa runway proper so vile tu ili kanyaga chini na za nyuma hizo uh, landing gear ya nyuma wakasikia eh ime bounce vizuri iko sawa so wakaenda wakiekelea hiyo nose pole pole tu wakisikiza woi 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 i hope to your nose ishikilie isijaribu maze kubako sababu tukislide hapa na i anivo <laughs> it's done hapa mambo kuisha so mazee akaiekelea chini vizuri nose gear ika touch down vipoa pap na ika maintain ah reverse thrust pap hizo ni zile brakes wakati usha land weka reverse thrust haraka faster ndege ikapiga ma brake zake mdogo mdogo na wakaenda wakasimama katikati ya runway pap successful landing my friend 
Sijui kama kuna mtu wa shai wekelea ndege chini ikiwa haina fuselage. <laughs> like hizi <laughs> ni vitu wao walikuwa wanafanya for the first time. So hata zile procedures unafaa ufuate wakati kitu kama hiyo imekuhapenia they are non existent. Hao watu walienda mazee wakiwing it. Jua ija why happened before hakuna hizo vitu kwa checklist. But mwanze God ali come through ase wakaekelea hiyo ndege vizuri pale kwa runway ikakamtua complete stop emergency services waka come take take huko mwanze na kila kitu hakuna moto iliwaka nothing but you can imagine the shock on their faces wakiangalia ndege inaka a section of it ni pickup iko na mabawa hakuna roof <laughs> na kuna wase wako tu hapo strapped and uh, the seats wa, uh, wako like nyinyi mlikuja tu mkipigwa na hiyo upepo maze amna nothing amna walls amna roof nothing ni upepo tu mnakula ay 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 it was miraculous so of course evacuation ikaanza 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 20 30 40 50 90 4 people wakachomoka out of the 94 65 walikuwa na injuries eight of them zilikuwa serious very serious injuries eh, so wakahesabu kila mtu 94 in total including wenye wameumia nini nini but wakiangalia ile log inasema uh, wase walikuwa ndani ni 95 so how come tuko na 94 people so wakaanza kupiga upekuzi upekuzi one of the passengers akaulizwa akasema alijitokeza tu akasema wadau during the hiyo bang as kulikuwa na hii rapid decompression maybe nilikuwa zangu juu ya uoga i don't know but i could swear from the corner of my eye a eh, front left i swear niliona a pair of legs zikipita through the roof Wah! i could be wrong maybe ni mimi tu nime panic but i i could swear niliona miguu zikipita pale juu So of course wase investigators wamezunguka mpaka ndege wameangalia hiyo side huyu jamaa anasema na wakiangalia vizuri wanaona nje ya hiyo ya, ya, ya now the fuselage after the the cracks after mali ili rip hapa mali fuselage imeanzia kuna kama blood splatter ama ni spatter blood spatter iko kwa iko kwa fuselage but side ya nje so wakajiambia ukweli huyu boy haezi kuwa nadanganya sababu we can explain blood inside the cabin how do we explain blood outside the cabin saidia nje inamaanisha kile anasema ni ukweli kunaweza kuwa kuna mtu alikuwa sucked out aka akapiganishwa na hiyo fuselage saidia nje na akaenda so turns out eh, our head flight attendant clara bell lansing aka cb alikuwa amesimama i mean row number 5 akisub juice yake yeye na troli wali skumo nje that's how she was sucked out alienda akaanguka ndani ya pacific ocean wakatuma mazee search missions huko nini nini kwenda kuangalia kama wanaweza pata body ama part of the fuselage nani hakuna kitu ilipatikana so of course lazima wasio akae chini wajiulize inakuaje watu wakiuko kwa hewa mazee roof inafunguka tu wa maraia wana kwa sucked out ni nini nini inaweza kweli hapa na hapo So of course ndio one of the passengers aka come forward akasema mimi nikipanda hii ndege nilinotice ka kitu kulikuwa na crack hapo tu kando ya mlango as naenda kuingia nikaiona but nikajiambia hii ndege imekuwa ikifly sana jo hakuna vile inaweza kuwa ni kitu serious na watu hawajafanya kitu so nikajiambia ni saa wacha tu mimi mind business yangu niende nitulie so wakapiga investigations zao wakaenda waka check the panels around nini nini waka discover a ah, a ah, ah, ukweli men hizi panels huwa zinashikiliwa na rivets 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 so places rivets zinaingia huku kando wakapata kuna microscopic cracks huku kando 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 kila rivet crack 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 so wakajiambia oh my god hapa hivi sijui kama hizi vitu zimeshaifanywa maintenance before but no, tunaona cracks hapa inaweza kwa hizi cracks maze ndio zili give in zika chomoka hiyo area yote ikafunguka maze roof ikatoka ika ikaenda but investigators bado wako na ngori fulani hizi fuselage vile zimeundwa kuna kuaga na kama 
haikuagi ni kama hati unaweza fungua tu hivi panel mzima ya mabati ah ah hizo mabati waga zime zimeweko in, in in squares so utapata hata kukiwa na ngori na, na one panel hiyo panel iki ikiharibika ni yako ka panel peke yake kako na noma the next panel haifai ku affected juu kuna vile wamezijenga kila panel nikai iko independent kivi yake so how come hii mazee imengoa karibu hizi panels juu sita ama saba nini ili hapo na hapo so waka kama waka discover ile material mazee watu walikuwa wanatumia kushikanisha hizi panels ni material fulani inaitwa epoxy so ndege ikipiga piga shughuli sana lazima mazee mpige maintenance hiyo kitu mnafungua hizo mapanels tena mnarabia hiyo epoxy yote mnatoa mnaiweka fresh mnaweka vizuri ina seal vipoa then mna rivet tena Unfortunately Aloha Airlines haikuwa sidani ilikuisha ifanya hiyo maintenance ever na ni dangerous for this particular uh, flight because ilikuwa inapiga hizo short haul so what happens when you're in flight cabin inakuwa pressurized cabin ikiwa pressurized ina expand then mkiland mki depressurize cabin ina contract sa since hii kitu inapiga more than 10 trips every day ni hii kitu tu inapumua like it fuselage is breathing ju ina pressurizedwa inafura ina kwa depressurized inarudi chini hivyo 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 over time uki subject maze fuselage to hizo stresses lazima tu maze eh, itaanza ku give so ilikuwa very important for aloha airlines kuhakikisha maze wanapiga maintenance hiyo kitu otherwise ingewaramba which is exactly what happened on 28th april 1988 So yep yeah. eh, after investigations of course kulikuwa na um, awaku settle a hundred percent as your lack of maintenance as the entire cause of the accident uh, a, a, a fraction of the team walikuwa na believe there could be much more eh, even though awaku wanapata evidence ya what else could have caused it ju vile hao na juu ndege imeundwa hakuna vile hizo panel zote zinafaa tu zitoke papi inafaa itoke na i think kila panel ni ni 10 walikuwa ni 10 foot by 10 foot 10 foot 10 feet by 10 feet so kukiwa na ngori na panel moja ako ka 10 by 10 ndio kana faka haribike i fa hizi zitoke zote so hiyo ndio kitu awaku wana get eh ingekuwa understandable kama ako ka, ka panel ka moja ndio kangetokana the fact that zilitoka zote inamaanisha kulikuwa na ngori ingine but to date hawajawahi jua kabisa ni nini ili happen but uh, thanks to your story of maintenance sasa saini mandatory ndege zikifikisha certain flight hours lazima lazima muende muangalie tena hizo sims zote vizuri tena muhakikishe kila kitu iko bound vizuri vile inafaa ndio kusi end up kukuwa na story ingine ya aloha airlines Um, unfortunately for CB Lansing vile uh, nilisema hakuwa ipatikana so the airport around um, uh, is it Honolulu no 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 hapo mali wali land Maui uh, wame set aside ka, ka area fulani in memory of of CB Lansing after amewafanyia kazi for for very long zile skies alikuwa na aliishi ali maisha yake hizo ndio skies bado zilimchukua eh mazee wakati life yake ili end yeah so ajawai patikana to date but hiyo uh, kesi yake ilifanya sai aviation is a little bit safer sababu zile blunders zilikuwa zinapigwa before sai azipigwi tena thanks to the accident that took away CB Lansing yeah and that's the story of Aloha Airlines flight 243 kama kuna ma details naweza kuwa nimeacha tuingie pale kwa comments eh tuchanuane tupige ka discussion pale ama namna gani wadao hapo sawa na hapo ndio tumefunga season finale yetu ya headline hitters see you again next week on another new season of headline hitters how's your wadao imekuwa true sana adios muchachos peace